Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, a scenario sent in by Divide Walker through the Discord, um, which I've edited slightly, just to reduce the numbers um, of ships, but uh, otherwise it's pretty much the same. Um, basically, what we have here is Germany has requested that the Bismarck-style ships or were built in Italy, and they are being transferred over to Germany now. However, the uh, British are moving to intercept this battleship and two heavy cruisers. Now, I do have some build requirements. Uh, must use 15 inch guns, makes sense. Must be able to do 30 dots, and I need to be able to do, s and I am limited to 60,500 tons. And this is the first scenario I've done on Core Patch 0.5. So excited to try out the new features. So given that we're looking at 60,500 tons, I could use the modern Battleship 2 at the very end, or I could go for a massive modern Battleship 1. I think we'll go for the 2, and we'll go for uh, 65. Sorry. 60, <laughs> 500, which is, I think, just the minimum. Yep. So we'll go for a minimum displacement one. Uh, I am recording this on Twitch, um, as usual. So if you hear me interacting with Twitch chat, that's what's going on. Mm. Right. Tower. Very similar. We'll go with the modern tower and ooh, we get quite a lot of secondary options. Mm. This one's the best. 24 base accuracy. It's quite heavy though. I think I might go for the light. I know they're quite large, but I think it'll work. Okay. Now, although I have to use 15 inch guns, it didn't specify the setup. So I can <laughs> go for a double quad, which only gives me a very small four weight offset. That's good. Oil. Uh, 62 smoke, eh? Ooh, new funnels. Annoyingly, I think a mega funnel is going to be my best bet. Now, I need to be able to do 30 knots. Apologies if you can hear a bulldog snoring in the background. That's uh, Millie. <laughs> right, uh, we'll go gear, gear turbines and balance boilers. Yeah, balance boilers. That works. Uh, now then, there weren't any other requirements, I don't think. Nope. So we're going to want some secondary guns. Five inch dual guns. Yeah, why not? Actually, they look, they look tiny. Let's go for something a bit, bit beefier. Let's go for a seven-inch triple. Oh, that's a bit of a bug. Oh no, I'm just taking one. The for the boats to disappear. All right. Uh, what can you fit on the sides? Four-inch. Yeah, four-inch guns. I wonder if you can do anything interesting with these uh, little turrets. Uh, 
Uh, is it possible to put a main gun on the secondary tower? You mean here? Uh, maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, it is. You can put a you can put a 15 inch quad gun up there if you want. <laughs> uh, it's going to unbalance the ship quite a lot though. But yes, you can. Hey there, Jackie Chan. And uh, thank you very much for the uh, host there, Nipmel. Okay. But uh, I don't want to go crazy. Bismarck only had eight 15 inch guns, and that's what we're delivering. Hmm. Yeah, I can see this working. Right, can we fit any of the small guns in? Like two inch guns anywhere? Up here. And here, maybe? No, it doesn't like it. Fit them there, though. That's it. Still, I think I think that's okay. I think we've got a reasonable amount of art, amount of uh, firepower. Uh, we've got the four-inch guns for shooing off destroyers and the like. We've got the seven-inch guns for dealing with cruisers, and then we've obviously got the fifteens for shooting battleships and the like. Hey there, Kelvin. Right, let's get the rest of the ship built. Now, crew, given that this ship has just been built and has been built in Italy, I'm going to go with a trained crew. But uh, I don't think they would be up to regular standards, so I'm going to go for a 49 trained. I'll go for a medium range. Bring auxiliary diesel, propeller shaft. Hmm. Prefer the balance rudder for swift maneuvers and a faster average speed, but beware the overall ship turn rate will be lacking. We can go for unbalanced, for tighter combat maneuvers, but it may stall or delay too much to change direction. Okay. I still need I need to play around with the rudder settings. So far I've just stuck it on semi balanced. Um Let's get the rest of the ship built. Propellant wise, uh, cordite three or tube pounder two. I am more of a fan of the tube pounder. Ooh, and TNT four. That's always nice. Uh, let's go for semi-auto advanced hydraulics. Can I get super heavy shells? I can get super heavy shells. Very nice. Uh, no, I just need a little bit of armor. Uh, would like a little bit more on the mid belt, and I would like a lot more on the fore belt because this is a bow-in sort of ship. Uh, mid deck and fore deck. Oh no, that's not happening. About six. Yeah, a little bit more on the fore deck, and that's pretty much all I can fit. But the ship had pretty good armor already. There we go, the Volante or the Fama Volante. Hmm. Lots of weird glitches. Uh, yeah, it depends which hull you're using. Uh, I'm noticing there's a lot of slowdown. I think there's a memory leak when you're editing the armor values, certain hulls, um, stuff like that. So yeah, we we've got a we've got a pretty pretty well armored, well armored front, which is appropriate. Um, yeah, let's let's see how she does. <gasps> Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. The whole point was to get. To, oh, I'm so used to design, like. It, but it's okay. I'll just go back and uh, 
design the heavy cruiser as well because you can you could do both. Uh, it's going to take me ages to get used to this. That's stupid old me. Oh well, can catch up with Twitch Jet. Greetings from down under. Good day, mate. <laughs> Nine would be sufficient. Do uh, you mean for the four belt? The Mussolini? Uh, could do. AI may have designed a masterpiece. I doubt that somehow. But the, the point of this was to show <laughs> show the Heavy Cruiser uh, build as well. like Because I get to design both for once. Uh, it's the first scenario I've done where I get to design both. Um, so yes. A treaty compliant Heavy Cruiser. Now there is an interesting... Restriction Volorosk. Yes, let's do that. I'm not gonna, not gonna look. So we'll go to rebuild ship, and we'll go to the heavy cruiser because Italian heavy cruisers, oh, they can look really nice. Um, I'm not gonna go for the five because it's a bit ch chunky. I'm gonna go for the. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for a minimum displacement Heavy Cruiser 4 as well. Um, I absolutely adore this hull. I love it. It's a really interesting shape. And you get this kind of double, double decker thing going on. Really, really interesting. Right. Treaty compliant. Um... I think, you know, with a bit of fiddling, you could you could argue that 12,500 tons is fine. Uh, we'll go for the cheaper tower. Mm, probably, yeah, there. And then secondary tower, I think I want the best one. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tubby. And hello there, free TNT pilot. Yeah, I love this hull. It's been in the game a while, but uh, you don't get to use it that often. It is a really, really nice one, especially with those towers. looks absolutely gorgeous. We get some new funnels for it. No, these are all the existing funnels. Okay. Um, again, we'll go with oil. 39 smoke. That means a big funnel. Like that. And the, the armoured funnel shroud. It's just a really cool... Cool feature. Okay, so if we're going treaty compliant, that means 8 inch, but they look disgusting. So I think I'm actually going to go for a 6 inch heavy cruiser. I know that's slightly unusual, but that was that was the trend. And uh, the 6 inch guns... Yeah. They, 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 they use the Italian gun model. Um, and that new Italian gun model is just really nice. Yeah, it's unique to Italy. Um, I, I really like this this hull. I think it looks fantastic. I'm just wondering if I can do if I can do something interesting with it with a barbette. I don't need much of a barbette. I could fit that one there, but it doesn't know. It doesn't want to let me. It's a shame. Uh, yeah, we'll go for two six-inch guns on the front. Yeah, they're too big to fit there, but... Oh, my goodness. Jackie Chan. <laughs> it frightened me after death. A thousand bits. Thank you so so much I uh, really really appreciate it yeah let's go for hmm, even shorter than that uh, not that short <laughs> Nope, that was the best one to use. And I know I could get a triple pair on the back, but I think that's that's a bit much. Right, secondary guns. Fives? <gasps> Look at those round little 
things. Oh, they look so good together. Those round secondary guns. Oh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> can I put a barbed up there? <gasps> I can! Oh, hello. Maybe I will put another six inch gun then. Because that's just fun. <laughs> All right. Why not? Uh, can we fit any three inch guns? Yes, we can. That doesn't like them there. What about two inch guns? Will they fit up there without interfering with the tech? No. Three inch guns it is. Ooh. Sadness. Oh well, a couple of three inch guns. Can I add 35 crew training for Italian accuracy? So I have, um, oh yeah, that's, that's a good point. I haven't done the crew. Uh, so the battleship had trained crew. I think, however, the cruisers, I think we'll go with regular crew. Let's go for uh, 60. They're a little bit more well-trained. Right, uh, should probably bring some torpedo launchers on a cruiser, but this thing's more of a kind of gun cruiser, escort cruiser, so maybe it doesn't have torpedoes. Uh, could fit underwaters though. Could be interesting. Get some underwater ones, there we go. Right. Speed, uh, 32 knots would be fine. Stick with that. Uh, we'll go keep on the medium, medium range. Don't need turbines. Oops, diesel. Relish shafts. Not. Let's go for standard bar bit thickness. Some anti torpedo, but not a lot. Um. You bring the radar. Twenty-two inch fast torpedoes on those underwaters. Semi-auto loading, advanced hydraulics, tube powder, and hmm. Why not the TNT-4? Means we're nearly... Nearly there. Oh my goodness, you can have super heavy shells on this thing. <laughs> and it's still a zero. Ooh, call it the Sicily? Alright. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's drop the torpedo belt down a little bit. Because uh, we still want a little bit more armour. I think a 9 inch belt would be okay. Uh, 4 inches on the fore belt. Deck armour's all fine. Oh, guns are as armoured as they can be. Okay then. Uh. Now then, have a look at the ship. There shouldn't be too many hits to the fore and aft belt. So really, it's it's main belt armor that I'm after. Eleven inch. That's that's pretty chunky. There we go. And a little bit of a four weight offset.
There we go. That'll do nicely. Good morning, Elric. Hello there, Dexmexix. And uh, Erebus. Hello. Hello, everybody. There's a lot of people for this time of day. But there we go. There's the... Uh, there's the, the Sicily. Hmm. That's a good-looking good ship. If I say so myself. I do like it. Bit weird having six and five inch guns, but you know, why not? It'd be a hell of an AA cruiser if these were dual purpose the fives. Okay. And then we wanted to Whoa How are you suddenly overweight? Oh, because you've upped your range for some reason. There we go. This was going to be the. There we go. All right, two ships for the price of one. Let's go. It's eight o'clock for you. Hmm. That is a good time for a stream. You must be in Australia. Oh, the Cleveland class was main six secondary dual purpose fives. All right, thank you, uh, your uh, your Yanaris. It's good to know that it's not that weird. Uh, okay, so if I get on at like ten eleven for me, it's. It's evening time for the Aussies. Okay, that's good. And uh, I suppose Kiwis. Although I haven't, I haven't seen any... Uh, I haven't had any New Zealanders pop into the stream. What on earth? <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> Some interesting designs. Oh. Um... Very quickly, I'm going to grab a screenshot of that because two ships are together. Lovely. Okay. Uh, cruisers, I want you to screen. For the battleship. Normal formation. Good. So we have the Vittoria and the Sicily escorting the Mussolini. They're all good looking ships. Makes a change from when building an Italian fleet meant they looked like absolute dog's breakfast. <laughs> yeah, there's the thumbnail. Yeah, Japan. I, I suppose that's true. Uh, Japanese. I've had Koreans in the chat before. I don't think I've had Japanese people in the chat. Uh, if you are in the chat and you're from, uh, <laughs> you're from Japan, say hello. Hello there, Dominicus. Is that right? Good evening from C, as in you're at C. Awesome. Hey there, Suma. And uh, hello there, B Dub. Yeah, it's um, so late heavy cruisers often did tend to kind of have a lot of smaller guns. Like they were chunky, they were they were heavily protected, but they had a lot of smaller guns rather than. With the kind of eight inch um, cruisers of the early 30s. So maybe we're just forward thinking. 
Or maybe it's just because the six inch guns have the nice gun model. <laughs> The Mussolini doesn't explode horribly, you'll be disappointed. Well, it had a pretty low flash fire chance. Um, this uh, tube powder TNT combination is definitely my favourite so far. The water line on the cruiser? It's not that bad. The main guns are well out of it. Oh, and I just clicked a button when I shouldn't have. Well, maybe not the rear tower. <laughs> but uh, we have spotted the enemy all the way over here. Weird design. You've got a Nelson, and then they just stuck a turret right out on the front. Which is a shame, because it would have been nice to fight against uh, a more Nelsonic style ship. 15 inch guns. Okay, so they have. A little bit more firepower. These will be the cruisers, which look really strange. With six inch guns. And a lot of torpedoes. Ten. Each side. Yikes. Well, let's get in there. You like the ship, not the name. Weak bow using cordite. Interesting. Uh, yeah, looking at their ship, I reckon the main belt ends around about here. On the B turret. So the A and the N1 are pretty vulnerable. At least that's my theory. Uh, I've already done the uh, Russian super battleship. Uh, I'm not even sure how to say that. Hum, is that okay? Um, that'll be coming. I did that last night. It'll come out on YouTube. But the one thing I I made a mistake when I was making that video. Um, I said, "Oh, this is the Tsuitsi Soyuz one," but it wasn't. It was the Super Battleship, so um, that's that's the one I'm going to do right after this. I'm going to have a look at one of the uh, the new the new Russian battleship that I thought I was doing last night, but I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't do too much. Bounce off the armor. That's exactly what you want for this type of battleship, because we are bow on, and we can fire our entire main battery, and they are broadside on. They can also fire their entire main battery, but they're a much bigger target. Although, interestingly, having a rubbish crew, nowhere near as accurate. Really lucky to score a hit. Oh, maybe. Oh, just, just missed. We're going to need to uh, close in. Uh, Littorio, I have, I, uh, Littorio was, I think, again, one of the ones I covered last time. I don't know the Littorio enough <laughs> to, uh, do a historical build off the top of my head. Um, but I do need to do some more historical builds at some point. People seem to really like those. Though this, the semi-historical builds tend to do quite well. Like the, um... Uh, Shinano video did quite well. 
Yeah, the 25% for using quad barrels. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not the best. That's why you need to get closer. We are starting to score hits, though. But remember, this ship is being transferred with its... You know, the, the crew know what they're doing, but they're not battle-hardened or anything like that. Oh, and the uh, British ship is exploding. <laughs> Lost its A turret. <sighs> yes, point blank range solves all issues. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a French ship. Yep. Because uh, this, this armor here is weak, although I think it hit the deck. I think the shell came in, went through the deck, and then into the magazine. Yep, deck bow pen. On, let's have a look at you. The Neptune. 52,000 tons, 174 mil. So it's a little bit cheaper than us. Cordite, picric acid. Okay, 24 knots, so slower than us. Lots of secondaries. Um, it'd be that four deck armor, three inch, 3.3 inch, four deck. Cause the issue, but of course, because it has turrets out here, like that A turret was just asking to get blown off, could because it was outside the main, the main belt. Which I really like that that's much more of a feature now in the game. Yes, uh, free TNT. There is a slightly different font going on. Um, they've changed how the tooltips work. Uh, I think they need to look at it again, because if you see here I'm hovering over the 15 inch gun, it's actually disappearing off the top of my screen. Um, they've also changed, so if you go into this menu, you have this new, I would call it the brown AI, which I really don't like. I I, I, I think this looks cheap <laughs> compared to the old one. Uh, I, pre I prefer the blue um, UI and uh, font choices that they made. I think they should uh, revert back to that. I am a super font nerd, so uh, Ultimate Admiral Devs, if you for some reason are watching this <laughs> and you would like me to uh, have a look at your uh, text layout and things, I will happily do that. Right, we've got an ID on the light cruiser. Minimum bulkheads and cramped. Wow, that sounds fun. 32 knots, Cordite and TNT, and yeah, lots of torpedoes. Fast ones. Okay. So they don't have a lot of range. Another another thing I do love about the, the double quad setup. Well, double quad, uh, four quads. Because you do get this really nice tight grouping of shells quite a lot of the time. So when it does hit, you tend to get multiple hits. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the cruisers probably could uh, butcher their light cruisers, but uh, they're doing their job, acting as screening ships for now. Oh, I think that's pretty much the first damage we've taken, I think. Well, first proper damage.
Right, now we're starting to open up on the uh, smaller ships. One thing I have noticed though is that AI does seem to like getting a lot, like we've been in torpedo range for that destroyer for a while. Uh, they just fired their torps. Um, which is really interesting because they do have to get into secondary gun range now it seems. I don't know what they changed, but yeah, the AI does seem to much prefer getting uh, closer. Yeah, okay, so torps. I think the Mussolini can avoid that, no problem. That's where the division system gets in the way. I think those are avoided by the Mussolini anyway. Yeah, another set coming out. Hmm, they're in a less handy direction, but uh, keep turning. Should be okay. Don't overturn it, Mus Mussolini. Please. Yes, talks we beat again. <laughs> but uh, I think we've dodged. Uh, Two pretty big salvos. They'll be reloading for some time. And uh, heavy cruisers, well, when they're not getting uh, smacked by 15 inch guns. Should be able to do quite a lot of damage. And of course we can uh, obliterate the light cruiser with our own 15 inch guns. Really? <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> it's like, right, yeah, we're just going to annihilate your cruisers with 15 inch guns. I did build them to be pretty tanky, but not against 15 inch guns. It's a little harsh. Yeah, those cruisers just can pump out a lot of shells. A couple of good hits on the battleship. Like before, you'd never score reliable hits on uh, destroyers like this. We've got some more torpedoes coming at us. Hey, Harbor. Good evening from Vietnam. <laughs> Hello there. Down to destroy it. And another destroyer by accident, I think. <laughs> but uh, I'll take it. There's another uh, torpedo, there it is. Getting. Uh, Another set coming out from the light cruiser. Uh, this away. Mm, that, that 
torpedo there, I don't like the look of. Might just hit us on the... Oh, there's two of them, actually. No, I think we're okay. Light crews are getting pretty well shredded. Yeah, I think they've changed how the AI calculates when it's a good idea to shoot torpedoes. Um, which I like. They uh, seem a lot less eager to shoot them. Uh, we yet to see how they are dodging wise. Those five inch guns have done really, really well. It was an absolutely enormous amount of damage. There goes the light cruiser. Neptune's pretty badly damaged. I'm just trying to trying to get a shot off with the Sicily. Side launchers have a pretty terrible angle on them though, is the problem. I hope that works. Glowworm sinks. Oof, that was a big hit on the Sicily. Get out. The uh, Mussolini, though, is in a perfect position against the enemy battleship because they can't fire at me, but I can fire at them. And a 100% chance to hit. Bunch of partials and a rick and a bunch of ricochets, but uh, still doing some damage. Oh, and the uh, Sicily's fired a torpedo to cover her retreat. I think, yeah, she has out the rear launcher. Neptune has detected, obviously pretty badly damaged. But uh, I would say under Alpha 12, this would probably miss anyway. But now, that is looking promising. Oh, yes. Lovely. Uh, captains do seem to die more often because I've done a few scenarios. Uh, yeah, if the conning tower takes a hit because it's now a separate bit, uh, it's much more likely that you lose the bri bridge crew because uh, you never used to see it in Alpha 12. But I've seen it a few times doing uh, Core Patch 0 0.5. Obviously, it happened a lot historically. Um, That'll do it. Well, uh, Battleship successfully delivered. I liked both of those ships. Uh, no, 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 this is Core Patch 0.5. Um, I, I like both of those ships. Yeah, both good. Anyway, if you're watching that on YouTube, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Bye-bye.